Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Starting to vlog out at home. I'm just watching a little Gina Janine on TV while I straighten up my living room. Um, today's Saturday. Saturday's the day that I normally try to get my little life together and get a jump start YouTube wise on the week. I try to have everything done for the week by Saturday. Um, this week, not so much. Um, yeah, but what reminded me was I wanted to show you guys. I'm trying something new. I'll let you know how it turns out. So this is wild berry jam and pineapple pancake. I want to see how they will, um, smell burning together. So we're going to get that mess over there together, clean up the living room a little bit. Then um, I have a lot of errands to run today. Today is my boyfriend's birthday. So I have to pick up some stuff. Um, I have to I have to get some food because I'm cooking for him. Um, and then I have something planned for him tomorrow. That's really nice. I make sure you guys a quick peek of that, but of course won't vlog that day because it's for him and he's not a YouTuber. And even if he was, I think he would take a break that day. But I will let you guys know how this goes. Like if this is going to be a thing, burning two candles, because I could burn two candles every day for like a year and I would still have candles left. So, but I want to see how they mix together. So I will check back with you guys un momento. So I actually booked a five-star resort and spa getaway for my boyfriend for his birthday. Um, it's located in Rancho Palos Verdes off the water it's called terrania resort definitely look it up if you're ever looking to have like an in-state kind of getaway it is really nice it's one of my favorite places to go it has like three restaurants it has activities on the grounds where you can like snorkel kayak you can golf One of these days, I'm going to get on this vlog and I ain't going to look crazy. Like, I'm going to be dressed and cute. Like, this don't count. This was just like, hurry up, check out, and go. Okay. Guys, I'm so bad at this whole, like, returning, <clears throat> returning clothes business. I freaking 
have one day to return the um, stuff that I'm not going to keep from Rainbow. And I didn't have the receipt with me. And I went to f I went to film and I don't have any SD cards. So my option would have been to film on my phone, which is fine, but not when I have all that equipment for a reason. So we're going to go back to my house because I have to wait for um, the delivery of my vanity and <coughs> pollution and um, then I'll go back out like once my vanity comes then I'll go back out return the stuff to rainbow and um I think that's supposed to be him backing up, but it broke the prime truck. But after my vanity comes, then we'll we'll try this whole thing again. But I'll just clean and wash clothes until then. All the fun grown-up stuff. All right, guys. Bye. So yeah, I'm home. I have my receipts. The people are delivering my vanity in the next 15 minutes. And outside is the gardener cutting grass. I know you're like, why does that matter, Amber? It matters because I have the worst allergy to fresh cut grass. I am literally trapped in the house probably for at least like seven hours like if I were to go outside while they do that or even hours after they finished you're talking about swollen face swollen eyes unable to breathe they're supposed to come when I'm not home they have like a window they're supposed to come really early when I'm not home so that by the time I come home I don't have to worry about it so either I messed up or they messed up I'm not sure but I think today's the last day to return that stuff to Rainbow so it probably won't get returned because I literally I literally cannot go outside I mean, unless I wear, like, goggles, it's just not possible. I can smell it already. Like, I can smell it through all my closed doors. I need to be in a bubble. Plastic bubble. Run. All right, y'all. So, there's a window of time in LA where if you don't get out and hit the road, you're gonna be stuck in horrific traffic. That time was approaching. Your girl hopped, ran, skipped, jumped, and returned that rainbow stuff. <sighs> Literally traffic started building about 10 minutes from my house, so just missed the traffic so i was able to return everything um but while i was there i saw a couple of things i wanted to try so i did a full return like i didn't want none of the receipts to be mixed and then i separately bought this stuff so the first this is kind of weird i'm guessing it's a tube top bodysuit right but what i was thinking was it could be more like a high-waisted bathing suit bottom if I needed it to be um, because it's so, it's meant to be a tube top, you know, like it'll go up high enough. What I don't understand, okay, well, it's pretty secure. It does snap, but that could easily be sewn to stay, but I don't care about it really snapping, but this was $5.99, so it's huge. I'm not huge, like 
body shaming huge but i just mean look how much torso room there is and for me someone who has a long torso it's like we can get good we can get everything up in here and have some cute little yellow bottoms in theory so we'll see then i saw this and i just had to get it because it's like one of those things that you rarely see in plus size but it's this like crochet spaghetti strap top but what makes it unique is that the whole back is stretchy so i'm thinking it should work didn't even notice that those two work together so the whole under part of the crochet is like a scuba material so technically it could be what is it called a tankini if you wanted it to be and then I've been seeing these everywhere. Don't like the print, but it's like these sheer mesh swim bottoms. So um, I figured that these would be cute. They look like they fit more like leggings. I know everybody has the ones with the little shimmies down the side, but I was trying to go for something a little bit different. And I like the fact that it had a little tie in the front. We'll see how I like these. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll put on the yellow top, but I'm not putting on the other stuff. So, BRB. So, it fits. Just not with this bra. And only thing I don't like is that it has this cutoff spot. It has a little line here, but I think I could definitely. Yeah, I think I could work with that line and it has enough support because the back stretches the back stretches whatever like i just thought it was cute and it was 10.99 the tube top bodysuit was 5.99 and then the sunburst tie-dye pants were 9.99 my vanity came and i just feel like did y'all have to go to the depths of the deepest part of the warehouse to get it let me let me show you what i'm talking about look at this like and this thing is huge so it's like am i supposed to breathe in all this crap I just need this to be installed like now so that I can get it out of my house. This box. Ugh. So I'm going to um, make me some lunch. So when I use the air fryer foil in the bottom, so that I don't have to clean it as much. So the egg rolls are from my Costco haul from a while ago, like months. I still have those egg rolls. So it's a billion of them, but it works out. Power, fryer two, air fry. Let's do eight minutes and halfway through. I'll flip them and with that we're going to have some chow mein with vegetables also from the Costco haul these bad boys so one packet um, the sodium is I misread it I thought the sodium was like 160 which I should have known it wasn't but it's not as bad as like couple noodles so that's why it took me so long to go through these because it's six packs and I don't eat it that often because the sodium is 50% of your daily value. It's uh, 1,160. Couple noodles are like 2,300. So this is still like eons better than that. But I ain't gonna hand make no, um, it ain't got no asparagus in it. I ain't gonna hand make none of this right now. I so. Call it what you wanna. Show you guys what I'm working with.
and we're done hi guys so yeah nothing special at this point just chilling watching tv but i wanted to show you guys the salad i made for dinner so i just made a um a vegan caesar salad so romaine lettuce chopped up fresh tomatoes chopped up with um my little makeshift croutons it's these little crackers i get that are kind of like that just for some crunch and then the vegan parm with the trader joe's um vegan caesar dressing so keeping it light since i had that super salty lunch and just drinking water for the rest of the day so that's how you can balance things that are high sodium so i just want to show you guys that a long time ago when this movie first came out i bought it on iTunes and I'm so happy that I did because it is nowhere else and I literally have Apple TV just to be able to access Noah's Ark the movie like what if you never watch the show Noah's Ark or never watch the movie like find somewhere that's streaming it find somewhere that's streaming it like this is the best movie, best show. But yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted because that is your girl Solange in the intro. I don't like those. <sighs> Hi guys. I'm so tired. So, um... I got up today really early and went to South Coast Plaza. Um, it's a mall in Orange County that happens to have like a good amount of stores. It's really huge. So you're able to get like luxury. You can go to luxury stores or oh, it broke. <clears throat> so defeated by that you can go to luxury stores or um just like regular you know mall stores so it was easier to go there to kind of look around i wasn't really sure what i wanted i had been looking at a couple of bags i had been looking at a louis vuitton bag i had been looking at a chanel bag i was looking at a ysl bag and the way I approach luxury items is kind of like real estate. Um, I always want to get not just what's trendy or what everyone has. I want to get what's going to have the most resale value. Um, majority of the bags that I have now, if I were to resell them, I would make a profit. You guys have heard me talk about that before with a lot of the things that I buy. Not that I plan on reselling them. I just want to be smart about my purchases. Like I'm not going to pay seven thousand dollars for this trendy it bag and then in three years you see it on Poshmark for like two thousand dollars like no boo no so I wasn't too sure what I wanted the thing about those um those um luxury stores is that they really don't let you record like that like I don't know what that's about um, and I didn't even ask because I know that in most cases they don't let you record. Like you can take a couple of pictures, but they don't let you record. So I went to Chanel because it was some sandals that I wanted from there. Well, actually I'm going to be real. I didn't even know what I wanted from Chanel. I kind of had an idea of something I was looking at, but didn't know if I was going to get it or pull the trigger on it and ended up really liking these sandals that I saw they have my size, but only in black. And I didn't want black. Like, I have plenty of black sandals. I wanted something colorful, something spring and summerish. So, she said she will um, let my sister know. Because her and my sister communicate often. She's going to let my sister know if something comes in. So, that's in the works. Then, um, Gucci had a line out the door. Wasn't going to do it. Um, Louis Vuitton, lying out the door. Wasn't finna do it. Uh, where else did we go? 
to Balenciaga and I did get something. Again, I was looking for sandals, so this was a really random purchase. It wasn't a super random purchase because once I saw the sandals at Chanel, I started like being on a sandal hunt. So I was like, oh, I need some sandals, I need some sandals. So I started looking at shoes. And we know I have a problem when it comes to a certain type of shoes. So, uh, uh, I have a hard time keeping the box for Balenciagas because they're so bulky, but I'm gonna keep this box. So, it comes with the duster for reasons I just said. Some people just really don't want this box taking up a whole lot of space. So that's my desk bag. And what's on here? Oh, y'all probably got a sneak peek if you can see that. I don't know if the color is fully translating because my kitchen lighting is horrible. But do y'all see? These are so cute. I had to get them. They're so comfortable. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but so that's just how it is with like Balenciaga tennis shoes. It's not everybody's cup of tea but they are mine and I had a I had a video a while back where I did um uh, my luxury wish list and I said that there was another pair of Balenciagas that I wanted because they were so comfortable and I thought they were so cute a lot of people ended up having those those are the um like the lime green ones the lime green like a uh, sock ones i have black but i wanted the lime green so many people have them that i don't even really want them like that anymore uh, i saw them today and i was like no and i got these so i am so in love with these bad boys but remember i was on a sandal kick at this point because i was like okay I need sandals, sandals, sandals. So my sister was like, oh, we should probably go to Nordstrom's because the Nordstrom's in South Coast Plaza does sell luxury items. So she was like, maybe you'll see something there. And I did, unfortunately. So these are from Nordstrom's. So you get your little card. Of course, you get another, you get two duster bags. I guess one for each um sandal put that there so there's little dior all over the paper and this box is like a snake skin box like crazy she give me the right ones yeah okay so, I don't know if the color is really going to show up for you guys, but it's like a dark navy blue sandal. And it has like the Velcro. Sorry, the sticker stuck to my finger. Get off my finger. Okay, so it's like really like rubbery and flexible though. So just a really comfortable little sandal. Um, they're so cute to me. They came in black and they came in like this leopard print. The leopard print did not say Christian Dior on this little um, Velcro strip part. So that checked off the box for me as far as sandals. So. I left my house like around 11. 
this morning. So by the time we were done shopping, I was so hungry. We went and ate. I scarfed down my food. I ain't take no pictures. I ain't take no video. We went to some place in Costa Mesa. And then I just came straight back home. So your girl spent a lot of money today, but I am not going to be spending money for a while. I'm done, 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 done. You know, um, my plan was to get a bag, but whatever. So currently on my tab, I got those Retro 11 Jordans. I didn't pay a whole lot for them because your girl was savvy and actually paid regular price for those. Those were $185. I did not pay the resale, the resale amount, okay? Um, then, so yeah, that is my luxury quick little unboxing for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I would have rather had a Louis bag. It's like, okay, I, I have a Louis bag. Not like that, but I'm saying like, I, I don't equate what I spend to the item. Like, oh, I could go to Rainbow and, or I could go to Torrid and have a whole new wardrobe. Well, not Torrid. I go to Rainbow and have a whole new wardrobe. But is that really what's going to make you happy? Or are you just trying to get more value for your buck? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my spiel on that. Do what makes you happy, people. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't take y'all with me. But them stores really do trip. But like I said, I'm, I think I caught like a four second, like quick spin around in the store. I don't know what it's worth it to y'all. But yeah so i'm going to be i don't know what where this net is but i'm going to clean my house a little bit and then i have to pull out some items because i'm doing a poshmark sale doing poshmark um for you guys i'll do a video and you guys will have an opportunity if you ever saw something that i bought in a try on haul or even something that I haven't done a try on haul for and I just purchased it and didn't really care for it. Y'all know I'm not really big on returning. A lot of the stuff is new with tags. Some of it tags have been taken off and the items have been washed. Some of the stuff comes from stores like uh Shein or like Boohoo or you know places like that that don't have tags on them. So they're new, never been worn, but they don't have tags. So I'm going to slowly start the process of getting my Poshmark together. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but it is a huge undertaking. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to show you the Posh pile that I have where I still have like three more to add to it. Okay. Un, un momento, por favor. All right. So these bins are filled with new clothes with tags. Everything in here has is none of it is from the past year. Okay, this is stuff I pulled out of my closet that I had already purchased to make room for the stuff I did for the hauls. Nikes that I've never worn, Dunks, heels from Tory, thigh high boots, all type of stuff that I've never worn. Yet I still have to go through and like things like this. I got this silk skirt from um fashion to figure from my fashion to figure hall never worn it this dress from fashion nova like i have so much stuff and then this is like a bag of shoes all being thrown away just because i don't want to have to deal with shipping shoes no no so these are the only shoes i'm willing to ship because they're just like literally brand spanking new but yeah, so I'm really trying to pull it together and get this whole Poshmark situation together, but it takes some time, y'all. It takes some time. I have some Jordan 19s that I was going to put on Poshmark, but I don't want to deal with people. Are these authentic? Can you pull down the tongue and let me see the street? Like, I'm not doing that. 
I'm not doing that. So the Jordans, I actually, I'm just going to give them to Goodwill. So somebody will be very happy um, to get those from Goodwill and live their best life. Okay? Live their best life. So, yeah, I think I'm about to sit down, watch a little TV for a minute, wind down, because I've literally been gone from the house since like 10 this morning. And I will check back with you guys later. Hopefully, y'all watching my video that came out today, though. I'll put it up here in case you didn't see it. So, really quickly, um, when I was going to get that food from Compton Vegan, it's a food truck. It's a pop-up in Compton. And I happened to be on Instagram, and I saw that they were going to have it. I never catch them, so... I was looking for the truck and I saw this little boutique, if you will. So I popped in there just to see if they had anything. And um, they had a whole lot of these little t-shirts. So I was like, let me just see. Let me just try one because I wanted like a simple white tank. So I don't know if you can see. It has like faux um, like bronze buttons here all the way down the front. It doesn't actually button and it's ribbed. So it was just like really good quality, but like really cheap. And then I also got these biker shorts. Just some neon biker shorts. Um, all my biker shorts come from Torrid. Um, I've linked them in several videos, but I'll try to remember to link them below. But I wanted to just see if I could get like a pair of like cheaper ones. So this top was $10 and the bottoms were $10. So yeah, it's called Gen X 101 or just Gen X. Um, for those of you who are in the LA area, it's 1610 West Rosecrans Avenue. They had men's and women's clothing and the space was pretty big. And they had plus, regular, junior, a whole ton of accessories. So, yeah, definitely some place to pop in if you want some basics. Like, I wouldn't get, like, my uh, going out outfit there more than likely because it's not necessarily my style. But a lot of basics. So, let's see. The only thing is, is that the store had a ton of restrictions. Like, it was, like, no returns and you couldn't try anything on. And if you use cash, they were going to round up. What did it say? Ooh. They were going to round up the cost. Ooh. Okay. Whew. So, the biker shorts have stretch, but the top doesn't. I'm trying to see if you can see. I got them on. Pretty comfortable. I popped a seam or two. Like a stitch. But... No returns. <laughs> so, just wanted to show you guys what I got. But loving this shirt and definitely we'll probably go back and get some more colors. I just went to Compton Vegan. I went to Sugar Cove in Long Beach. And I almost slept through my whole appointment. So, I just had to hop up, shower, run, and go get my make my sugaring appointment. But luckily, I saw that Compton Vegan... Um, had a pop-up in Compton, and I always miss it. I always miss it. So I was like, Long Beach, Compton, that's not bad. So I went ahead, and after I left there, I went, and I picked up some Compton Vegan. I will insert the clips now. So, um, I will let you guys know exactly how it was if you follow me on Instagram. Then, of course, you know first. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And I just thank you guys for coming with me on another one of these journeys. And I am going to get my vlogging life together. I'm going to get better at it. But it really takes, like, active, like, thinking skills. Like, oh, wait, 
this is happening. Let me pull out my phone. Let me pull out my camera. Let me have extra batteries, stuff like that. So I'm kind of learning just to not be a perfectionist and that it's okay just to pull out my iPhone sometimes. So um, that's all I have for you guys. As always, love you. Mean it. Bye.